Okay, let's go get started here. Uh, this is Ken Eldridge, Vice President at Bakerfield. Today's webinar is uh, why is Acumatica Cloud ERP outshine Microsoft Dynamic Dynamics. I'm going to give a very short uh, PowerPoint for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'm going to show a couple of customer videos of customers that have switched from Dynamics to Acumatica. And then I'll do about a half an hour demonstration of Acumatica. Before I get started, um, Tess is the Acumatica Partner Account Manager, and I'll, I'll uh, leave it up to you, Tess, to, to say a few words. Thanks so much, Ken. Yes. Um, so uh, as you mentioned, I am a Partner Account Manager at Acumatica Corporate, and I, do work, I work directly with Bakerfield Solutions. Uh, I wanted to join this Lunch and Learn just to provide a quick introduction and more importantly, a glowing recommendation for Bakerfield. Um, they are one of uh, amazing and well-trusted um, gold certified Acumatica partners who I not only enjoy working with um, immensely, but they are one of my best partners overall in regards to their commitment to their customers and their depth of knowledge on Acumatica and beyond. So I know that you will be in good hands to learn from them during this lunch and learn, and also throughout your entire journey of exploring ERP and learning what Acumatica has to offer. So I just wanted to jump on here to, you know, provide a little bit of a backing from Acumatica and, you know, show that we are in great support of Biggerfield and all that they do. Thank you so much, Ken. Thank you, Tess. Appreciate the introduction. All right, so let's get started here. So as I mentioned first, I'm gonna give a, an executive overview of the benefits of switching from Microsoft Dynamics to Acumatica. Um, I'm gonna give a couple of real life experiences from uh, Acumatica customers that were prior, prior on uh, Dynamics. And then I'm gonna give you a demonstration. I'll open it up for Q and A. Um, if you don't get a chance to get your question in, there's my email address right there. You're welcome to um, give me an email at any point in time with any subject or to schedule a more detailed demonstration. Uh, we have these webinars every month uh, and it'll be a different topic every month. And, uh, but I welcome doing uh, customized presentations specific to your business needs. Here are some of the awards from Acumatica. They um, generally always uh, are ranked highest in customer satisfaction and usability by some of the most reputable sources, Gartner and G2 Crowd. Um, it is a very easy system to use and to learn. They um, have been voted best ERP software, best manufacturing, manufacturing solution, best cloud solution. And um, so we're very proud of these awards that uh, Acumatica has won. Acumatica also has built uh, industry solutions. So if you're in one of these four industries, you uh, will find that uh, Acumatica has specific functionality related to your industry. So uh, distributors, manufacturers, construction, or anybody in professional services for that matter, and retail commerce addition. One of the things that's very unique about Acumatica is that they have no per user fees. Um, so it's very unique licensing, unlike um, Dynamics or other, most every other application out there they don't charge you for more users. So you, you'll you find that you'll have more people using the system because you're not paying four to $5,000 per user. Um, it, it is licensed based on, um, based on your infrastructure because it's a cloud system. You'll find that uh, it's licensed based on the size of your company and how many transactions you put through the system um, as you would with any cloud system, you have to uh, size your servers. And whether that system is in-house or whether it's uh, in the cloud, 
um, you you would have to uh, size uh, your infrastructure. And so that's how Acumatica licenses their application. It's very unique in this industry. It's also very open architecture. Here's some of the out of the box integrations that are have already been developed. But uh, if if you want to develop other applications, um, we're a partner, for instance, for Planful, um, uh, finance and and um, P and L and and budgeting application. And so we've written an integration to Planful. It's also uh, one of the things that's unique is that it, it's mobile. It can run on any device anywhere. Um, so if you have an iPhone or, or any mobile device, you can run everything that you'll see here today, you can run in a mobile environment. Uh, some basic things like approving expense reports, looking up customer information, entering customer relationship management information, running reports, et cetera. Um, all on your mobile device. Acumatic has come up with their Bill of Rights, which I think gives you a, um, an idea of how um, they feel about our customers. Um, a couple of things that are very unique to Acumatica. The data is yours. It's your data. And if by chance you decide to move to a different system, the data goes with you. Um, and that's not true for every other application. Um, flexible deployment can run in the cloud, can run on premise, can run in a private cloud. Uh, sustainable pricing with annual increases of no more than 3%. So you're guaranteed that your price will not go up um, more than 3%. I mentioned consumption-based licensing um, that doesn't limit your growth. Um, grow, uh, support, you get 24-7 um, support through Acumatica. Uh, we are your front line of support. And then um, we can defer to Acumatica if um, we aren't able to solve your problem. Here's some of the differences that are true of Acumatica. Um, versus Microsoft Dynamics. These are just some, there are others as well. Um, True Cloud, Microsoft Dynamics GP, for instance, was written 30 years ago, and, and it was an amazing system at the time. It, um, you know, did everything that we, we needed. Um, I implemented it many times, and I was very happy with it. But 30 years later, it's still the same basic code and um, not built for the cloud. The cloud wasn't there then. Um, full function ERP, I would, I would challenge this message that um, Acumatica has everything from uh, financials to manufacturing, to distribution, to project accounting, um, HR, payroll, et cetera, customer relationship management, um, when you choose Microsoft Dynamics, you're typically using a separate CRM solution. And, and uh, many of you have multiple disparate systems and know what a challenge that is, trying to get data out of the system or integrate the system. Um, I've had great success implementing Microsoft Dynamics ERP and implementing Microsoft Dynamics CRM. But when it comes to Integrating the two, that's a big, big challenge. I mentioned scale as you grow. That's a unique um, function of Acumatica, the ability to um, pay by um, usage and not pay by user. So as you grow, uh, you can just add users as many times as you want. You don't have to contact us. You don't have to contact Acumatica. So these are some of the things that are unique about um, Acumatica versus other systems, including all flavors of Microsoft Dynamics. Um, I'm very, very well versed in, in Microsoft Dynamics AX, SL, GP, NAV, 
So if you're running in a, one of those systems, you'll find that upgrading to Acumatica is a much more functional, superior product than upgrading to any Dynamics version. Now I want to um, show you a couple of videos of, uh, of customers that have switched from Microsoft Dynamics to Acumatica. Here's one here, Pro Farmer. Pro Pharma is a small independent wholesaler whose primary focus is supplying injectables to emergency rooms throughout the United States. The previous environment was Microsoft Dynamics, but we refer to it as the Frankenstein model because of all the add-on pieces of software that were needed in order for our business to function. After several years and several hundreds of thousands of dollars spent, we had a more or less jalopy of software. The maintenance of your old environment to a new environment is night and day. And it's essentially because what I'm trying to do five and six different systems and keeping them coordinated. The reason that I really love Acumatica is that it's a framework, it's a single source solution, it's one database, and it's all connected. So the FDA uh, Drug Security Supply Chain Act has been a big part of the new regulation. We have to track the lineage of medications all the way from the point it's manufactured to the eventual goal of where it is dispensed or administered. With Acumatica, we can give each product a specific tag number, which allows us to see where it came from, who it went to, and then have all that on file for the FDA. DCAA has been a wonderful partner to work with. They've been very responsive to our needs. Working with Mark, his response time is, is very quick. He's just been very helpful all around in supporting this company's growth and seeing it through. With Acumatica, I'm probably spending 30 hours less a week having to manage just the infrastructure with the ERP as I was with our previous software. We are now able to focus much more on the growth of the business and the performance of the company instead of having to constantly manage infrastructure. With our previous software, each user was costing between four and five thousand dollars. The unlimited access for all my users has just been tremendous. And plus, we're going to experience growth and add more salespeople within the next six months. So being able to just tack them on is so easy and it's a beautiful system. Would I recommend Acumatica to anybody? Absolutely not in our industry. I wouldn't want anybody to have a competitive advantage over what we do. We have big plans for growth and Acumatica is right there with us. We're excited because of the unlimited potential that it offers us. All right, good, uh, good video. I will um, move on to the demonstration of Microsoft of uh, Acumatica. If you are interested in any other videos um, showing customers that have moved uh, from any other ERP system to Acumatica, just let me know, and I'd be happy to um, send those to you. So this is uh, Acumatica. Uh, Nancy, can you see my screen all right? Yes, I can. It's perfect. Good, good. Thank you very much. So the first thing you'll notice when you um, load up Acumatica is this dashboard. And these dashboards are uh, based on how you log in. So if you're an AP clerk, you're going to see a different dashboard than this. If you're the CFO, you'll see a dashboard that's relevant to you. If you're the CEO, you'll see a, a dashboard that's relevant to you. And each of these dashboards are customizable. So if I go in here to design, each of these sections are what's called widgets. So I can change these widgets. I can add widgets. And these are the type of widgets that are available in Acumatica. Uh, so a whole variety of them from charts to 
pivot tables to reports to business intelligence uh, data, um, you can create these. And these are things that users can add to a dashboard. You don't have to be a, a programmer. And again, these are based on the user. I'm logged in as the administrator, so I can see everything. But if you only have access to a limited amount of data, that's all you'll see. Um, you'll also see the ability to search um, in, in these customer views or in any, any view. Um, so if I was to, for instance, go here and look up one particular customer and only want to see that customer information. I can go here and go to uh, AA customer. And it'll show me just the information for that particular customer, Alta Ace. So very uh, easy to look up customer data. It's very customer centric. And um, again, there is a variety of, of dashboards that I'll show you down here. A variety of dashboards that come with the system. And each of these dashboards, um, oh, that's manufacturing. Each of these dashboards can have unlimited reports, unlimited widgets, and you can create them for yourself. It's um, I'm not that technical, but I create dashboards all the time and um, very easy to do. Some other opening comments about Acumatica. It is a cloud-based offering built from the ground up specifically for the web. So I'm running this just on a web browser. There's nothing loaded on my laptop. I could be running this from a mobile device I have an iPhone, I run it from my iPhone, but it can be run on premise as well. It's, it's supported by all of the leading web browsers. And uh, again, it's role based. So based on who you log in as, you'll only see your information. Acumatica supports um, multi company. So you'll see here that I'm in uh, revision to capital, but there are two companies underneath that. And then there are two branches under each company. So you can have unlimited companies, unlimited branches, and you can search and sort on the, the individual companies and uh, branches. I should mention also that everything that you're seeing here today is out of the box. There is no, nothing that's been customized um, at all, but it is easy to customize. It is an open art. It can be customized by end users without the need for to, to get involved. So if you want to modify reports, if you want to modify grids and lookups, I'll show you how to do that. It's very, very simple. So let's, let's get into the system here. Let's um, drill down. Notice that when I highlight any of these um, widgets, I can drill down on them. So if I want to go into open opportunities, I click on that and it brings me up what's called a grid in Acumatica. These grids are easily modified by you. So if I want to click and drag and move columns over, I can do that. If I want to um, modify or customize these, I can simply go into edit and I can uh, easily customize these. I can um, add columns, I can remove columns, I can change the sort order and I can drill down as I just did there.
I also should mention that um, Acumatica is tightly integrated with Microsoft Office. So I can easily import and export data in and out of Excel. I can easily um, send it to Word. I can send it to PDF. It's tightly integrated with Microsoft Outlook. So if you're in Outlook, there's an Acumatica um, uh, button that you can choose and easily um, send a message to somebody in Outlook and it will record it in CRM. So back to exporting, I can easily, in any grid here, I can go to uh, the top and there'll be an Excel button. You'll see this X here. So I can easily export this out to Excel. And give it a moment here and this will come up with an Excel spreadsheet. So it formats it just in the same order that it is there. I can manipulate data. I can bring it back in um, if I have rights to do so. And it uses all the same security and error checking as if I was entering data into Acumatica. Another common feature that's often used is um, uh, filters. So if I want to filter this here by uh, a particular, let me uh, log out of Outlook. If I want to um, filter this, I can filter this data by anything. So if I want to see anybody that's in New York, I simply click on New York and it'll bring up every customer that's in New York. But I also can save these filters. So if I wanted to click and drag this city up here into these filters, um, these will stay here. I can save these filters for myself or I can save these filters for anybody in the organization. I can save them globally. So very, very easy to filter data. And this is everywhere in, um, in Acumatica. So we covered dashboards and we covered grids. What I didn't mention is over here on the left are what's called workplaces. And these uh, workplaces are basically modules and they will be customized um, or configured, I should say, by user. So if this user does not have the ability to um, look at receivables, I go to an edit menu and I can go to whatever it is, projects, and I can exit out. And if I hit the X button here, projects will not be listed as a menu item. I also have what's called favorites. So these are things that are specific to me. And if I want to be able to go to customers on a regular basis, I'd simply click and drag it up to favorites. So these are uh, workspaces. And again, um, they are tailored by each, uh, by each user. So I showed you how you can filter by the grid that you're on. What I didn't show you is the concept of universal search. That would be up here. So if I go up to universal search, you know, how often you in a system and you just don't remember where 1099s are or anything like that. You simply type 1099, it'll show uh, menu items. So where is it in the, in the menus? It'll show you any help. It'll show you any files. 
So if there's a file attached to somebody and it's labeled 1099 for a particular company, it'll come up here. So this is a pretty powerful tool to be able to search the entire system and see how quickly it came up. Um, everything is indexed to, um, to come up immediately. So you're not searching for hours and hours for data or you're not searching for a menu item. Very, very easily done. The other thing I want to show you is the concept of side panels. Um, if I go here to back to my dashboard, notice if I click Acumatic or it goes back to my dashboard. If I go to open opportunities here, um, you'll notice, and this is true everywhere in the system, you'll notice sidebar buttons over here. So I'm on a particular opportunity I can drill down on the opportunity, but it's easier sometimes to have sidebars. So I click on open opportunities and it shows me the details of, of those opportunities. And as I move down, notice that it changes to the details of that particular opportunity. Some other things here I can do. Um, if I go over into the customer view and I go to customers, actually I'll go into sales orders. Notice this um, star. These are where you put your favorite. So if I want uh, entering a sales order to be a favorite, I click on that. I want invoices to be a favorite, I click that. So again, it's, it's the ability to customize screens without having users be um, programmers. And again, reporting is very easy. Um, if I go here to uh, open sales orders, And I want to say select orders that are over $50,000. I simply drag that here. Oh, that's quantity. I apologize. Order total. So here I can create unlimited filters before I was on the quick filter, but here I can uh, create unlimited new filters. Bear with me for a second here. There we go. Order total greater than $50,000. And then it filters it down to only 13 records out of 1,773. So my largest orders. 
Another thing that's pretty powerful is workflows and automation, um, scheduling things. So if I want to, for instance, run payables, and payment method, uh, I want to send out checks. And I could say, all right, wherever the branch is equal to or products, wholesale, And there they are, and I could schedule them for any date I want. So let me go over to um, the workflow of a uh, sales order. If I go and create a new sales order here, so this will show you some of the flexibility of, of Acumatica. Um, notice that every record typically has a header and a footer. I can attach notes to any record in the system. These notes can be stored in Acumatica or they can be stored in um, SharePoint, um, because this is one integrated system with CRM, I can add activities to any record anywhere in the system. Uh, an activity could be uh, scheduling a phone call, it could be an email, and whenever I send an email or make a phone call or whatever, it'll be stored with that activity. Files, I can attach any file to any record unlimited files to any record. So if I want a copy of their purchase order, I can uh, attach the image. And I can easily customize the system. So if I want to go in and, and um, edit this particular screen, I can easily add fields, delete fields, um, as, as many fields as I want. Notice down here on sales orders, uh, you have these tabs uh, right here. These are uh, additional things you can do. So you can track commissions, uh, financial GL accounts, any shipping data, you know, have unlimited shipping addresses, unlimited billing addresses, um, discounts by customer. And you can see any shipments and payments and totals down here. I mentioned you can easily do um, uh, work off any device. You also can have your customers and your vendors use Acumatica and they don't count as users. So if you want to be able to um, have a customer get in, be able to look up their balances or pay a bill or anything like that, 
very easy to uh, give them access to receivables and um, not they won't be charged a user. Reporting, um, there are hundreds of reports in the system, over 250 actually out of the box. Um, you can go in and from anywhere you can run, uh, from any of these workplaces, you can run reports. So here is a, um, actually I'll go over to finance and I'll run a uh, financial report. P&L. There are five different types of reports that come with Acumatica. There are standard reports, which I'm in right now. It's kind of a, a report designer where you can identify the rows and the columns. Kind of works like Excel. So here, my rows, um, I'm doing this by company and by GL account. Uh, notice that I can have um, unlimited general ledgers. So I can have a budgeting ledger. I can have an actual ledger. I can have a bank ledger, unlimited. And I will um, run this for Okay, so this is a P&L um, by GL account. And um, notice the balances. I can now drill down on this data. So if I wanna see what's in petty cash for this period, I can click and drill down. Notice that I can always uh, save this to Excel, Word, PDF. So if I was to go into um, AR receivables, go into sales order detail by count, run this report and then you'll see that I can save it uh, to PDF. PDF, Excel, Word. You can also email these. So if I wanna email a report to a customer or an invoice to a customer, I can easily do that. And when I do send an email to a customer, it saves it as a, um, an activity in CRM. All right, so that is uh, the, the demonstration for today. I'm gonna open it up to anybody that has questions. You have a chat button. Um, if, um, if you wanna email me, you have my email address. It's ken, K-E-N dot Eldridge at bakerfieldsolutions.com. Let's see if we have any questions here. Okay. One question I received is, um, does the system include payroll and HR? It does. It really includes every module you can think of to have one integrated ERP system. So it, it has uh, a lot of them you can see here, but all your financials, 
your inventory, warehouse management, payroll, HR, customer relationship management, manufacturing, really everything um, that a company could need. And then you saw some of the integrated solutions that add on to Acumatica. Any other questions? Nancy, can you see any other questions there? Anybody raising their hand? I um, um, No, there was one question about standing orders. Does it, does it do standing orders? If you have a customer that requires yes. this every month, because that's important for some of our people that are looking yep. for ERP. Yeah, great question. Both um, sales orders and purchase orders, you can have standing are recurring orders um any the po or sales order processing another thing that's kind of unique about acumatica is you have the ability to create a purchase order from a sales order so mm -hmm. if in a sales order you need to be able to automatically um, create a purchase order um it'll have the default vendors and you can place a purchase order right from sales order processing Fantastic. All right, then. Well, if there are no other questions, I will close out the webinar here. Um, if you've already gotten your Grubhub lunch, great. Hope you're enjoying it. If not, um, you can place that order anytime. And um, I'll put my email address up here again. Thank you so much. This was awesome. It looks like there's another question, Ken. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed it. Oh, okay. What is it, Will? How easy to add custom fields for selection from list of text? How easy to add fields from list of text? Okay. So, um, those are what's called uh, lookup fields, I believe, if I'm understanding the question properly. And you can easily add um, either an existing field or a, um, a custom field. And then you can put in lists of data that they have to choose from. I believe that's the question that's being asked. And it's very easy to do. I could. Um, I could show you any time how that's how that's done. Bear with me for a second. So here are some customizations that I've done, but yeah, you just add a field and then you add lookup tables to it. And the, the lookup, you just key in what are valid um, options. If that person wants to uh, email me separately, I'll show them screenshots. Excellent. Anything else? I think that's it. Thank you so much, Ken. That was excellent. Well, I would be happy to do custom presentations for each of our prospective customers that want to see Acumatica in more depth. Um, what I would do is I would do about an hour discovery first to understand what your business needs are. 
and then I would uh, do a, a demonstration um, on a following day. So Great. just reach out to me and um, I, I would be happy to do that. Will do. Thank you. So, thank you once again. All right, everybody. Thanks for taking some time out of your day today. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye now.